Hi guys, are you looking for the perfect holiday collection? You have to try our Glitz and Glamour collection that we just launched. I have it on today. I designed this collection to complement all different skin tones and to make it really easy for you to achieve a really beautiful, festive party look for your holidays. I'm really excited to show you our new Glitz and Glamour duo. And this is a limited edition product for the holiday season, and it comes in our Glitz and Glamour collection. Uh, one side you have a cake liner, which is the matte blue. The other side is Blitz, which is a really rich navy blue, almost a black, and it has also very light blue shimmer on top. Uh, to activate the cake liner, you just add a little bit of water to it. So today I'm gonna to show you how to work both of these colors uh, for a really beautiful holiday look. So I'm just dipping a little bit of the Glitz eyeshadow right at the tip of the angled shadow brush. I'm going to just apply it right at the edge corner of my natural crease line of my eye. And you can see that this brush fits perfectly into the natural crease and blends out the color perfectly. Now this is great for any eye shape, of course, but uh, especially for an Asian eye shape, this brush is ideal. So I'm adding a, another layer right on top of what I just applied because I want it to be a little bit more stronger towards the outer crease line. So again, it's always best to go uh, layer after layer. So this is about, I would say, my second layer here. So I'm applying Glitz eyeshadow on my other eye, again, really concentrating the color more so on the outer edge of my crease line. So I'm blending the color through. A couple layers, again, you want to always repeat and always work in layers. And getting a little bit of product every time and just blending through. So the next color I'm going to use is Chandelier. I'm just placing the brush, the deluxe stamp brush, right into the color, trying to pick up as much as I can right against the side of the bristles. And now I'm going to apply it directly on my right eye first. I'm just going to quickly show you how this color looks dry. Applying it with a dry application, this gives you a gorgeous, almost like a lavender silver kind of highlight to the center and inner portion of the eyelid which is a beautiful complement to the navy blue that we just applied. So I've dampened my Deluxe Stamp Brush and I'm going to mix directly into Chandelier eyeshadow, creating a very light paste. Don't go overboard with the water. You want to make sure it's not too watery or it's not too damp in the pot. So we're just, we just have a very small amount of water mixing right into the product. So applying chandelier wet on the lid creates more drama to the eye makeup. So you can see right away that it's instantly giving you more of an opaque application. So you can see the different effect with using the product dry or using the product wet. And if you want that extra highlight or that extra drama to your makeup, try the uh, chandelier wet. I'm just going to layer uh, the wet application so I'm symmetrical and balanced here. So I'm just going on top of the dry. I'm going to even both eyes out. So I am lightly dusting with the Glitz eyeshadow uh, with using the Bullet Crease Brush. I love this brush as an eyeliner brush just because it gives more of that kind of smoky, smudgy appearance to your eyeliner. It gives you a different effect than you would get, for example, with a perfect liner brush or with a deluxe stamp brush. So the bullet crease, again, gives you more of that very soft, smoky frame to your either your upper or lower lash line. It's almost like a feathering motion when you apply it, and it will instantly give you that very smoky, smudgy liner effect without looking so strong or um, so dramatic. I'm focusing more of the Glitz eyeshadow towards the outer portion of my lash line and I'm connecting the color directly to the crease color so everything looks really uniform. 
Now I'm going lightly right into the inner corner. This brush is also ideal for detailing the crease if you need to. So not only can it uh, line and give you that nice smoky liner, but you can go right into the corner crease if you want to and detail a little bit more there or even blend if you want to. So this is a great kind of a detailing brush that you can use to perfect your artistry. So I've just dampened my brush and I'm going to go directly into the Glamour Cake Liner create a smooth paste directly into the pot here. And now I'm gonna apply it on my lash base and this is gonna give you a deep ocean blue winged appearance to my lash line. So I'm tilting my head back to get right at my lash line here. And I'm using the angle, the entire angle of the brush. And I'm working that right at the root of my lashes in very small little stages. You don't want to go all in one swipe. You want to make sure that you work this in small stages, almost as if you're connecting the dots. And again, tilting your head back gives you that smooth surface to work from. So make sure you don't squint your eyes or that you um, have your eyes closed when doing this. I'm just following the natural length of my lash base. Okay, I'm gonna mix a little bit more directly into the pot here of the cake liner. Again, using the length of the brush, I'm going to work that right at the end of my eye here, the outer corner, creating a slight wing. And I'm working that towards the inner portion of my lash line. So I'm gonna apply Amorous eyeshadow with the contour crease brush. Amorous is a cool pink. I'm just adding it right above where I placed the Glitz eyeshadow. And this just warms up the crease line a bit and it gives it more of a kind of an airbrushed appearance to your eye makeup. So this is something that I actually tend to do often uh, when I'm wearing darker shades. So our next step is Leading Lady Luxury Gloss and it's a beautiful raspberry pink sheer shade. Applying it right into the center of my lip, blending out, going onto my top lip. And you can see it's just a really easy color to wear. And really designed this color to complement more of a stronger eye, but still kind of have that very light berry stain to your lips. So this is a nice compliment if you're wearing, you know, neutral eye makeup if you want to with a little bit more color, or if you're wearing a really dramatic eye like I have right now, and you want to make sure that you have the attention on the eyes, but still have a lip color that has a little bit of more of a berry tone to it and pulls a whole look together. So last tip, if you want a bold lip color with a strong eye, uh, you have the option to use Girls Night Out Luxury Gloss. So this you could easily layer on top of Leading Lady or just wear by itself. So I'm gonna quickly show you how that looks mixed with Leading Lady. So I'm placing a little bit right onto the center of my lip first, lightly blending out towards the corners. And blending on the top lip. So this is another way to wear the look by just adding a little bit more color to the lips. Again, you have the option to wear Leading Lady Luxury Gloss by itself or to add Girls Night Out with it. So really great ways to dress up your look and make it more festive. I hope you guys have learned some great techniques using the Glitz and Glamour collection. Have a wonderful holiday and I will see you guys soon.